Zine Kaplansky could never see himself getting married at a church, but his mind quickly changed when he stepped foot in St. Columba Anglican Church in Tofino. It's a very special place, and uh, to know that people uh, try to burn it down is really heartbreaking. The church has been part of his wife's entire life. Willa Bradshaw grew up next to the church, and when she heard the news... My heart just sank. She had never imagined anything like this could happen to the century-old building. The church has been closed during the pandemic, and now with the damage, it'll be a while before it opens its doors once more. It definitely hurts, and it hurts so many of the uh, members of our community. The fire occurred just weeks after the discovery of unmarked graves at former residential school sites in BC and Saskatchewan. The Tolokuit First Nations in Tofino say violence isn't the answer. In a statement to Czech News, they say, We're not believers in violence. We don't condone what took place in residential schools. People part of the church now are not directly responsible for what took place in the past. We don't support violence. We don't believe in retribution in this way. We are peace-loving people. Similar fires took place at other churches this week, including St. Paul's Anglican Church in Nanaimo on Canada Day. While Kaplansky and Bradshaw are grateful the Tofino Church wasn't burnt down entirely, they say it's time to be vigilant. Anger is a terribly uncomfortable emotion. And how you express it and how you resolve it can't be through more violence. It can't be through more destruction. That can't be satisfying for people. He urges those who are responsible to think about the consequences of actions like these, as the fire could have harmed people. The investigation is still ongoing, and Tofino RCMP are asking anyone with information to contact them.